So I had a subscriber ask me, hey, I'm just starting my whole weight loss, fat loss journey. Where should I begin? Should I do the coffee and lemon challenge or the apple cider and vinegar challenge? What do you recommend? And I thought, that's a great topic. That's a great question. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Nelia. Welcome back to my channel and back for another video. Today we're going to be talking about the apple cider vinegar challenge versus the coffee and lemon challenge. Both of these I have done before and I do have a lot to say. Now disclaimer, I am not a nutritionist, not a certified nutritionist or fitness trainer or anything of that nature. I'm going to be discussing my personal journey with both of these challenges and what I experienced. So definitely do your own research before you try anything like this. Ask your doctor and all that jazz because everyone has different health conditions and everyone's different. So definitely do some research and again, ask your doctor. First challenge I ever did here on my channel was the apple cider vinegar challenge. I did this challenge two times. The first time I did it for a whole week, drinking apple cider vinegar every morning. And I did that for a week and also 30 days. Both of those challenges are here on my channel. And then I decided to try coffee and lemon challenge, which was going all over TikTok and I had to try it, why not, you know? And I did this one time and I did it for about only three days. And I will say I did lose weight and inches with both of these challenges, but there are definitely some pros and cons and one that I prefer over the other. So let's talk about the pros and cons of both. We'll start with my most recent, the coffee and lemon. So essentially you're supposed to drink some black coffee and a lemon together on an empty stomach first thing in the morning. There's a lot of hoobla about whether or not to do it at night, during the middle of the day, empty stomach versus full stomach, decaf versus caffeinated. I did caffeinated black coffee, this brand, it doesn't matter the brand, but this is the brand I used. I saw it all over TikTok, just followed the girls. And I used about, um, I think it was half a lemon, I can't remember. But this is basically what I drank first thing in the morning. But the cons, okay? First of all, it's disgusting. It does not taste good at all. I kind of dry heaved a lot drinking it. It's very tough to get down. It is not something good to do long term. Both of these are not good to do long term. You don't want to drink coffee and lemon on an empty stomach. It's just not something you want to keep doing every single morning. It's not good, guys. This is also not a good challenge for those who are caffeine sensitive. I know a lot of people would drink this at night, which mm -hmm, kudos to you. But if I drank some coffee at night, I would be up. So this is definitely not for those of you who are caffeine sensitive. And all in all, it's a gimmick. It's not supposed to be good for weight loss and fat loss. It's not something that doctors are like, yeah, keep going, keep doing it. A lot of research and articles will tell you that this is just a phase. This is just a little trend that was going on on TikTok. And it, it, cut it out, guys. It's not It's not beneficial for real. Yeah, a few pros. It is very cheap and easy to make. It's, it's very, you know, user friendly. Everyone can do this and everyone can make it. Secondly, it does give fast satisfaction. So I did drink this for about three days and I already had lost a few pounds. So I can only imagine for the rest of you who are doing this for like 30 days, the results you can get from doing it. And also it's just pretty easy to follow. You only have to drink this one time a day and you would automatically get results. That's exactly what I did one time a day for three days. So I only had three cups of this and it was doing pretty well for me. Apple cider vinegar and lemon. So essentially with this challenge, you're supposed to drink some apple cider vinegar. Um, I did first thing in the morning. I know a lot of people actually drink it before bed. I've tried both, they do work. So essentially you wanna be on kind of like an empty or not just an eaten kind of stomach. So first thing or last thing at night, drink it. Um, about, I think a, a shot glass, so what is that, two ounces? Two tablespoons, I'm sorry, wow. <laughs> two tablespoons of vinegar, and I drink it with like eight ounces of water or more, and just chug that down, and that's it. There's a lot of um, hoopla. <laughs> if you guys are supposed to do it one time to two times a day, I did it one time a day, and I saw results with just doing it one time cons with the apple cider vinegar challenge this is not good for your teeth I have seen many people who have apple cider vinegar in their diet regularly and they're not drinking it with a straw so the key with apple cider vinegar is you do not want to drink it straight it will cause damage to your teeth to the point where your dentist will probably notice it like <laughs> I've seen pictures I've seen stories don't do it so the way to drink this is really with a straw not a metal straw preferably a plastic or like um, reusable kind of straw and drink it that way. The metal kind of messes with the properties, you're not gonna get the benefits, yada yada science. Another con is that a lot of people don't like the taste of this one either. It's pretty disgusting to them. For me personally, I've been drinking 
or just eating apple cider vinegar in different forms for like you know some time now so apple cider vinegar doesn't phase me too much especially when it's diluted in a drink so again it's a taste thing it doesn't taste great it doesn't taste good there are numerous benefits of drinking apple cider vinegar so i'm gonna go ahead and name them for you it improves digestion it reduces belly fat it improves heart health lowers cholesterol it's full of antioxidants it's a food urge suppressant so basically it helps you feel full for longer which in the end of the day you're not going to be eating as much so those are just some benefits about apple cider vinegar when it comes to weight loss there's of course other benefits you can research for yourself another pro that i like about acv is that you can easily add it into your routine if you don't like taking a shot of it every day or you don't like you know drinking it period <laughs> you can also add this to salads and things like that to get some nutrients in and you can also get the little um pill form of apple cider vinegar i've never tried the pills or the gummies before but i've heard people get great results with those i kind of wanted to do a challenge with those let me know down below if you guys think I should try the pill forms i don't know i really feel like just drinking it straight is like the best way but if you know for those who hate the taste there's ways around it you want to take a gummy take a gummy you know what i'm saying so whatever works for you and lastly another pro is again with the first coffee and lemon this is also affordable you essentially just need apple cider vinegar and water and a straw so things around the house so needless to say, I'm a big fan of the apple cider vinegar. It's just easy to add into my diet. It does not upset my stomach too much like the coffee and lemon did. The taste, again, isn't as bad to me as the coffee and lemon. And there's just so many numerous benefits. Now that's not to say there's no benefits to coffee and lemon. I think separately from the research, research I've done, they are great. Coffee has benefits and lemon has benefits. But together, it's a lot going on. It's not, it's not something that I'm going to continue doing long term. Now I want to put the disclaimer on both of these challenges. These are not going to be incredibly life changing challenges. They are supplements to help your journey. I have to do them to lose weight. They're just kind of little, little helpers. The key, of course, to losing weight and losing that belly fat and all those things is a clean diet and eating in a caloric deficit, which I've talked about plenty of times here on my channel. You can't, you can't outdo the diet part guys you gotta eat clean you gotta be in the caloric deficit these help but you can't you know do this and like eat a bunch of crap and then expect to just be flat flat it, it don't work like that so again if you decide to try any of these challenges make sure you reach out to your doctor shoot them a little note ask them how they feel about it for you and your specific health condition not everyone can try these they're not great for everybody i always got a lot of questions in my comments about like i'm pregnant or i'm on this medication can i do this can i do you guys I am not a doctor. I'm just a regular human being who decided to try these challenges. So definitely ask your doctor again, please. <laughs> Hope I helped you guys clear some things up and help you decide which challenge you wanted to try. Let me know down below which one you're thinking about or the benefits or the cons of either one that you've experienced. Make sure you subscribe, join the family, give me a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.